So last year, I pedaled the entire distance of the west coast of the United States, and I did the entire thing without a sleeping bag. How did I do it? Well, I used vapor barrier layers extensively. What is a vapor barrier layer? Well, a vapor barrier layer is essentially a piece of gear or a piece of clothing that prevents moisture from escaping. Vapor barrier layers prevent heat loss from perspiration. Perspiration is the process your body uses to cool itself down. You sweat, that sweat evaporates, and that is what cools you down. Vapor barrier layers prevent that sweat from evaporating. I first found out about vapor barrier layers in this book right here. This is Andrew Skirka's Ultimate Gear Guide. In this guide, Andrew talks about how vapor barrier layers really help on extended backpacking trips. Vapor barrier layers prevent the outbound layers of insulation from getting saturated with your perspiration. If you think about a down sleeping bag, it doesn't breathe very well. And if, uh, if you perspire throughout the night, your perspiration gets trapped in the layers of down. Night after night of back to back sleeping in your down bag without preventing that perspiration and you're not drying out your down bag during the day, uh, eventually the layers of down get saturated with your perspiration and the down insulation starts to degrade over time. So my layering system starts out with merino wool. Um, I try to go for anything 100% merino wool um, and sometimes I go for this stuff called possum down which is a mix of Australian possum and 100% uh, uh, merino wool. I also, of course, have a merino wool buff. This is the synthetic version. Um, the synthetic version is the one I traditionally wear during the day, uh, while the merino one is the one I wear at night. And I try to keep this one really clean. Uh, this one gets a bunch of gross stuff all over it. So after I put on my smart wool, um, I will put on my vapor barrier layer. And that starts actually with these umbrella bags. Uh, I wear these over my socks, um, and I found that these are the best vapor barrier layer. Um, the side benefit is they're usually free. After I slip on the umbrella bags, I will use the Montbell Tachyon wind pants. Um, and I'll typically wear these during the day, laundry days, things like that. Um, but this is my primary pair of pants. Um, they're insanely light too, uh, only a few ounces. Then I'll also put on um, my V, this is somewhat of a VBL, it's not a full VBL because it's got these uh, breathe breathable pit zips, um, but this is a jacket that I'm wearing all the time, the Montbell Tachyon jacket, the one without the hood. Um, so this is my main uh, wind blocking layer as well during the day. Um, and then when I'm getting ready to go to bed at night, I will use this as my VBL. This vapor barrier system comes in at a cool 113 grams and probably has the best warmth to weight ratio of any clothing layer that I've been able to find. There are certainly other options out there in the way of vapor barrier systems, but unfortunately vapor barrier layers have just not caught on in the mainstream gear market. I obviously aim to change that by making this video and educating everyone that vapor barrier layers are pretty cool and they allowed me to save a lot of volume inside my pack. Uh, at the same time, I think that it allowed me to eliminate my sleeping bag. And uh, that's what I'm going to talk about in the next upcoming video. So stay tuned uh, to see the, the rest of my ultralight sleep system for bikepacking.